Okay, so when the Hebrews and the Moses were wandering around in the desert uh, after the Exodus, Moses was inspired by God to write down the oral tradition in the book of Genesis. Um, or that was the book of Genesis. He wrote down the other four books of the uh, Pentateuch too. That's why they call the books of Moses. And the reason he wrote down Genesis is because it gave the... It, it told the Jews the history, the oral history, from the beginning of time until where they were at at that point. And the reason they he needed to do this is because most of the Jews didn't know the oral history at all. They uh, had been slaves in Israel for so long, or in Egypt for so long, that they only knew the Egyptian religion and the Egyptian traditions. Now we'll discuss later. As we go through, as I go through the Bible, um, how Moses knew the, this oral tradition that he wrote down in Genesis when he grew up in Egypt, and not only did he grow up in Egypt like the rest of the Hebrews, he actually grew up in Pharaoh's household, so he had even less exposure to the Hebrew tradition than the average uh, Hebrew did. But anyway, so he wrote down the Book of Genesis. And our, the book of Genesis was designed to correct those the incorrect oral traditions of the uh, pagans. So most are all pagan religions at that time. Pretty much a lot of them now teach something similar. But the pagan, ancient pagan religions taught that the earth and the heavens always existed. And the gods always existed. And usually as a result of some sort of fight, like uh, God fighting a dragon, or two gods fighting or something like that, somehow, accidentally, humans were created. From like the blood, spilled blood of the dragon, or other ways like that. And they believed that, like, since I live in Mishawaka, the gods of Mishawaka made me and like people that live in New York the gods of New York made them and that we're all equally or we're all humans and if one person moves to another one they can be adopted into that new tribe so that they knew we were all the same species they wouldn't have used that word but they thought we were created differently and therefore different and that was the reason why we, you had a lot of uh, wars, and you'd have like two nations that had similar gods would a lot of times team up against other nations who had completely different gods. And uh, that, that was a lot of like ancient racism. They Again, that's not a very accurate term, but that'll work for this discussion. Was because of those creation myths. So then Genesis 1-1 was written... In the beginning, God created the heavens of the earth. So it explains that, no, the heavens and the earth didn't already exist. God existed. And God created the heavens and the earth. And God also created the angels, and including the ones that eventually fell and became the false gods. And we'll discuss how that happened down the road when we get to there. And then uh, God... As you go through the creation story, God creates all humans. And then later you get to the Tower of Babel, where all the humans are split and go their separate ways with their separate language. And that's how we get the different races and stuff. But what Genesis 1-1 is getting at is, not only are the pagan stories wrong, but also God existed before time and God created everything. And he's the most high, he's the king ruler of everything because he created everything, everything's in his domain, and he created all people the same, which means all people can be saved, all people can go to heaven, and God loves all people equally. Now, he does from time to time choose, like, he chose the Israelites for a special mission to be, to guides to the world to show other 
nations how to become, how to follow God. And they screwed that up. And then he, also Christians are supposed to do the same thing and show other people how to follow God and be, be uh, the way to become loved by God. Well, the way to become part of God's family again and not be an enemy of God anymore. And again, Christians screw that up. Just like the ancient Israelites do. So, uh, what I'm getting at here is... Or, and then, also, hold on, before I re do a re uh, summary. Also, this is the start, and it was a very, very, very long road, of all people are equal. And we shouldn't be judging people based on race. Now, did the ancient Israelites do a good job of that? No. Did early Christians do a good job of that? So, on a rare occasion, yes, but as a general rule of thumb, no. But after the 8,000, 6,000 years, well, about six, five thousand 5,000 years since Moses, no, that's not right, to four, five, four or 5,000 years since Moses was around, uh, we've slowly been working that way. We should do more, but... This is the basis of where we get that all people are created equal, is Genesis 1-1. That's where it all starts. So, uh, I'm not going to go into any more detail. Like I said, there's a lot of little details in this that we'll, that I mentioned. That as we go through the story, we're going to cover go through the Bible. We'll cover more and more of those little details as we go. So, if you'd like to join me in reading the Bible... I'm going to put a link in the comment section, or in the, uh, yeah, I'll put a link, ping, put a link in the video description and a pinned link in the comments on the uh, YouVersion Bible. You can join me in the Bible study on there when I'm going, as I'm going through the Bible chronologically this year. Uh, so if you want to, join me there. If not, like and subscribe so you can see more of these videos. And thanks for watching.